Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to take a look at Colt 45. Now, I did a review on this last year, but it's a beverage I very much enjoy, so I thought it was worth revisiting. So the original, rich smoothness for every occasion. I sometimes have a little bit of trouble with that word for some reason, uh, smoothness. Colt 45 original always remains true. The classic American lager since 1963, every time. 5.6% alcohol by volume, and this is a 24-ounce can. I got this at the uh, Marathon gas station in West Toledo on Monroe Street that's right across from Best Buy and Value City Furniture and Kroger. And they have a, a decent beer selection there. They have some stuff that I can't find out where I live. Is that's more in an urban area and where I live is small town kind of meets country so demographic wise you're going to find different things. I'm just being truthful. But uh, I always enjoy Colt. Um, always have. It's funny because it's been years since I've had it in the bottle, but I've always liked it better in the can for some reason. Why, I do not know, because usually it's the other way around. But, uh, but yeah. It's got a very nice subtle sweet taste to it um, it's very smooth there's no bitter aftertaste or anything like that um, it's just a very smooth pleasant flavor Billy D Williams back in the late 80s and early 90s did commercials for Colt 45 I mean you can find them on YouTube and I believe in the late 70s, Red Fox actually did, uh, did a commercial or two for Colt 45. Of course, you'll know him best as uh, Fred Sanford from Sanford and Son, which was, uh, I always liked that show. <laughs> I was actually watching the other day, I was actually watching a YouTube video. It was uh, <laughs> the best of of Aunt Esther, of Aunt Esther. <laughs> that, was, that makes me laugh every time. <laughs> but yeah, very... Um, very satisfying and for some reason I know a lot of people at least in my circle anyway you know that say oh you know malt liquor is not any good it's like well how do you know it's not any good until you've tried it you know don't knock stuff until you try it because you know you never know because you might get something cheap and it's n not bad and I've spent like five or six dollars on a can of beer and it's tasted like um, like windshield washer fluid. Not that I've ever drank windshield washer fluid or antifreeze or anything like that, but I can imagine that's what it tasted like. Um, I've had a couple of craft beers, unfortunately, that tasted it was like a cross between that and toilet cleanser if again if I'd ever tasted that which I never have and I never will <laughs> but when I make these comparisons sometimes people will give me weird looks but I go you know I'm just being truthful here but yeah awesome stuff Colt 45 if you have not had it try it it's awesome well guys that's going to do it for me i want to thank you so much for watching be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already and as always guys have a great rest of your day